What's going on guys, World Chills back again with an overview for you guys. I hope you're all having a lovely day slash evening, especially after yesterday. Chelsea had beaten Newcastle 2-0 away from home. Initially went first for the time being, but then Tottenham have beaten Manchester City and now they are top. We also have Leicester and Liverpool to play, which they could go ahead of us as well. So, look, it's looking bright so far. Chelsea are definitely in the title race. Um, I think we are definitely contenders and I feel like... But the way we go with clean sheets and stuff, it's just going to get better for Chelsea fans. So in this video here, we're going to be discussing about all the main talking points from yesterday's game. And a new partnership that I'm going to be talking about. Tammy Abraham, Timo Werner, the new DNA Drogba and Nicholas Anelka. And we're looking at it too far. You guys comment down below. But yeah, next week, next weekend, massive, massive game. Jose Mourinho's Tottenham against Frank Lampard's Chelsea. We have to win that game. Okay, the pressure is on. Um, the last time, you know, Tottenham were leading the title and stuff. Chelsea always broke it down. The last time we played on a Monday in the opening day, Chelsea won the league. Everything hangs in favour, statistically and history-wise, for Chelsea. So I'm hoping we get that win. We need to get one over Mourinho. Tottenham fans need to calm down. We had many fans saying they don't mind Tottenham winning the league. We had to suffer with Liverpool winning the league last season. We can't see Tottenham win the league at all. But guys, you don't know how it goes. If you enjoy my content, smash that like button. Let's get as many likes as possible on this video. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification. Tune in daily. And make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. So I just want to give a quick reminder that Man City have spent over £250 million on defenders, goalkeepers. Yeah. And they are still not at their best. They're going down like Jay Sean. It's just getting worse for them. I don't know what's happened to them. They could say some of the decisions against them have been shocking. I understand that. But Man City is spending that much money. They should be doing a lot better. Okay. And just a quick reminder that our defence and goalkeeper only cost just under 18 million. And with that, we've got only one goal conceded in the last seven games. So Chelsea fans, the future is bright. Okay. The defence is bright. Mendy's amazing. Reece James is getting better. The best right back statistically in the Premier League so far. England's the best right back as well. We've got Thiago Silva who's rested and we still got clean sheets. That's the mentality that we have at Chelsea right now, people. It's getting better. We've got Rennes or Ren, how we pronounce it. Some of you guys are saying different ways all the time. I don't even know myself. Comment down below how you pronounce it. That's a massive game, okay? Five, six games ago, we were saying how many points can we get from the next 15, 18? Some people were saying 10, 13. Well, we have 15 out of the last five. So it's getting better for Chelsea fans. Before the big, big game against Tottenham, we need to continue our winning mentality. Now, what I'm talking about, Tammy Abraham and Team Averno, when they've started together six games, there's been 19 goals, five wins, one draw. You lot might think, it's not all that. Well, to me, that's, that's everything. I love partnerships. I love chemistry when players can work together and help each other. If you look at Team Averno's run for Tammy Abraham's goal, the guy just... Just slid through like it was nothing, like it was Eden Hazard, like she went through like it was nothing, you know what I mean? I was thinking, really, Timo Werner, you can do that? Through ball, bang, Tammy Abraham, FIFA for 21 goal, I don't know if I should buy FIFA for 21. Right now, Black Friday deals, people, £35, Champions Edition or something, I've never bought FIFA in my life, I got it for free last year, but I'm very, you know, I'm considering to buy this one, definitely. But a lot of people say they're not happy with the game. I apologise, I keep changing topic and stuff, but every time something that I talk about comes up, I'm trying to mention it about it as well. So FIFA 21, I don't even know if I should buy it or not. Let me know in the comments down below, because I want to do pro clubs, by the way. So yeah, the partnership between the two players, they've got a really good understanding between each other, and that's what we need at Chelsea Football Club. We need these guys to gel, and they are gelling. I told you lot from last month, when these players play together, and they get used to each other, you will see us turn up. Hakim Ziyech, okay, didn't have the best of deliveries 24-7, but in the first half, he put that ball in and Tammy Abraham nearly scored. So Tammy Abraham is understanding the game. Team Ravona can rotate and adapt from left wing to up top. So Chelsea fans, we are getting better and better. We're just getting started. Now, of course, what I want to talk about Kante is, I know he's the best. I told, I've defended this guy so much. I said he's world class, I think. People that are saying give Georgina Kovacic just need to calm down and give Kante a chance. Because what he does is, on the ball, I've always said he has to improve. Even under Sari, his final third thinking isn't there because that's not his player. But he's adapting, he's scoring goals on the Sari. But when you look at his actual work rate, interceptions, breaking up the play, tracking back, he has it all. The best number six we have at the club right now is a fact. Like I, I'm telling you that now. You know what I mean? So... When we play against low block teams like Newcastle, just sitting back, 
Kante doesn't have to do that much unless they counter attack, which we did see a few mistakes on Tammy Abraham, Rudiger, etc. I feel like everyone had a very good game overall, and there were some times in the game where someone might have made a mistake, which is not a big deal. Like we've we've covered it. Okay, Kante tracking back, Rudiger tracking back. Rudiger even had a decent game, in my opinion. I don't think there's anything bad to say. We had a clean sheet. I feel like other teams might have, you know, dominated us and taken advantage, but Newcastle let us off the hook. But regardless, we should have scored five, six goals, so it goes both ways. I prefer the 2 on the clean sheet than the 5 2 win, personally. I know many goals, you know, it looks very good, but I want those clean sheets because it gives a lot more confidence towards the defence. So, like I was saying, Kante for me against these teams, he's going to shine, he's going to be world class, and he's back on his form. He was never in doubt. The massive one we need to look out for is a Tottenham game. Okay, when there's. When I look at Tottenham, they play against Man City, and the possession was like 29%, 30%, or maybe just a bit more. They had about three shots, two shots on target, which they scored. Man City were all over them, over 20. Um, I don't even remember who was home away, but you know, Man City dominated them, and they were very, very unfortunate. But that's football. That's Jose Mourinho's masterclass that he done over the years at Chelsea as well. So we need to be very, very careful. But Frank Lampard has been getting it right against um, Jose Mourinho. The only manager to beat him across two fixtures, I believe it was. So, I think Frank Lampard knows what he's doing. I think he starts to understand what's right for the teams, aka Mason Mount playing the right position. He's not playing the wing. He's not being played out of position and not effective or anything. He's in the middle. He's working very hard. He's pressing. He's closing. He's trying to, you know, give those balls. Trying to open up the play. I'm seeing it all. A lot more fluid in this Chelsea team since we are picking the right players in the right position. Now, it's not a massive credit to Frank Lampard, he should be doing that anyway, but it's very good to see Lampard finally changing his tactics, his formation, his lineup. he's getting it finally right. So, it's good to see Kante yesterday, 90% pass accuracy, one key pass, four out of five long balls accurate, four out of seven ground rules, one, four tackles, three interceptions, two clearances. This is what I mean. You hear that, four tackles, three interceptions, two clearances just tells you the guy just picks up the pieces for us, fam. And we definitely need him in this team, 100%. Also, team have run the last 10 games uh, in all competitions. 8 goals, 3 assists, 3 man the matches. That's 11 goals, um, goal contributions in 10 games. Don't doubt him. Like, literally, I don't know why rival fans hate, hate on this guy. Like, focus on Martial. He finally had his first shot on target. Yeah, in the Premier League. Had some shame. Like, how are you sending for team of runner? Go compare him to Firmino. Like, them man don't score goals. My, my strikers score goals, if you know what I mean. So, don't doubt the guy, man, 100%. Kurt Zuma, a lot of people saying he's doing really well because of Thiago Silva, which is true. Well, guess what? He had no Thiago Silva yesterday, and he done really, really well. For me, he's one of our best centre-backs at the club. Him and Thiago Silva are definitely the best, okay? Thiago Silva, for me, with experience and stuff, stands out. But I feel like the most improved one in defence is Kurt Zuma. Now, his stats for this season, 13 appearances, 8 clean sheets, 3 goals, 96.3% aerial duels won, first in Europe for the stats, okay? He's statistically the best in that, you know, department right now. So it's very, very good to see Kurt Zuma doing really well for Chelsea. I told you, this, there's so much belief, confidence, gel, chemistry, you know, it's just good to see across the squad right now. Everyone's happy, everyone's talking, you know, you see Ben Chill, Reese James, you see Tammy, Mount, you know, you see uh, Terrell Silva. All these guys on Instagram, social media, just showing love to each other, man. Even Georgina is showing love. This is the things that we need in this squad right now. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And when you look at it, the teams against like Burnley, Sheffield United, Newcastle away, you know, we improved over time, 100%. We would have dropped these points recently, like... Under Lampard first season, sorry first season, I think we would have dropped points. I think we would have drew some games in my opinion. But Chelsea have come a very long way. And I told you guys, it's getting better and better. Uh, we scored nine goals against these teams that we actually struggled against recently, which is fantastic. Now, Tammy Abraham this season, okay, 13 appearances, nine goals and assists, one goal contribution every 17 minutes. He's also scored in the last three games. And look, Tammy Abraham, man, English, youth, come for the ranks. Proven doubt was wrong, and I'm happy, man. I'm, just, I'm literally, I'm just happy for these guys. So I'm like, I just want to see Chelsea shining. When this, when things are this positive, you just speak so positive, and there's no bad vibes. There's no lamp on out. I don't hear, I don't even see one lamp on out guy. If you know what I mean, the vibes right now at Chelsea is fantastic. We need to push on now. We need to make sure we get that win against Tottenham. But guys, if you join my content, 
help me out, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily. And yeah, I think Ren is, or Ren, we play uh, in the evening, I think it was. So, see you guys soon. Peace. Look out for the preview tomorrow.